All right, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We got Nate in the house. Um, as you watched the last video, me and Jolene got all the welding done, got it all ground off. Now, now we have to try to finish what's going on in here with the motorcycle. When me and Nate got the motorcycle in, it was a, a revelation. We did get it to fit in, no problem. Um, I guess the only concern I had was is that the back end of the motorcycle was, was up so high and it was shoved, it was looking like yeah. it was driving down it in. It looked like it was in like this and the car was like this. Right. Yeah. So Nathan yeah. came up with a very quick idea. He said, let's beaver tail the back of the ramp. So to me, and what I mean by beaver tail is, is bend that tail down of the ramp to make the motorcycle come down. Also, we're thinking when the motorcycle comes down in the rear, it's gonna haul it away from the package tray on the top here. So that's what we're hoping. So we've got a couple things we're gonna do on this video. I am going to take some boards off the ramp. I'm gonna cut it and, and bend it down. I'm hoping that I can bend this down so it will disappear on top of this uh, runner right here. I'm hoping that we can get this ramp inside the car. I don't want the ramp stuck outside the car. If the motorcycle looked okay, I probably would say, yeah, fine. But it did not to me. It looked like it was going down. And I think it looked that way to everybody else too also. Yeah. So the idea of the beaver tail that Nathan threw, I'm going to take. Just a quick thought on it should work. When I pull this out, um, there's still runners that, we, uh, that I made when me and Jolene were grinding it down. Let's pull this bad boy out. I know where I'm. Just a second, I'm gonna show this. Where, I know where I'm gonna cut it because this is where the railing ended straight. I'm gonna cut it right here. That's where it ends straight and then goes down. Okay, I'm gonna bend that down. I guess I did a little bit extra there the other day. I put some one-inch square stock on our angle iron, on the outside of the angle iron, and I made a couple feet up front to hold everything in place. So when I pull this out. Sent over here. I pretty well know, well, not pretty well, I do know where I'm going to cut it to bend it down. I'm going to cut it right where the mark is on this either side and then I'm going to bend it down. While I'm doing that, there is two pieces here that I made um, the day that me and Jolene had the weld off. Yesterday we had the <laughs> weld off. Who won, baby? Yay! All the cheers and claps. So, what is going on now, Nathan put a couple wheels in the decking that holds the motorcycle when it goes in, but when it comes down, there is nothing to help it roll on this part. So Nathan's gonna pull these little things, I got these little ramps made in here, they're just tacked in there, they're gonna be welded in there when they're all said and done. But he's gonna put a couple wheels right at this point. So when the ramp comes out, and then it comes down, it goes right on a wheel, and it's gonna help it slide out. So Nathan's gonna put a, make a couple wheels and put in there like he did before, or like he did over there. If you've never seen it done, it's pretty cool. You know, when you don't have something, just make it, and that's what he's doing. So he's gonna make that. I'm going to try to get some boards off of this, cut it, bend it down, and then so on and so forth. And uh, here we go. So. Just, these are just tacked in there. You can snip them, just snip them off there with the grinder. He's yep. going to put a couple wheels in the corner there, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Yep. And then we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> right. Here's hoping, right? Here's hoping. Now, I was going to start tearing this apart. I want to tear. What's going on with this piece here? This, this ramp is going to need a little bit of modifying everywhere, but we had to put the motorcycle in to see where it's going. I'm not sure if I enjoy that that much. It's not that pretty. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to take out the screws, take off the wood, uh, do a little bit of cutting, and uh, we'll know exactly what we got to do. All right, that little drill, uh, that impact drill that made all the noise. Where did where did we put that? Nate? Is it we still know? down front there on the where the charger is? It made all the noise. No, no, we're not there. Anyways, I'll just pull the, put it, get a drill or a screwdriver and pull them out. Should be no big deal. Okay. It might be a big deal, I'm not sure. Do you want one of them bits just to put in the drill? Right here. This, this should haul it. I should be able to take one of this. Should be able to. Yeah, no problem. 
and the only reason I'm taking the boards out, well, I'm gonna take the boards out, see what I'm doing, to be honest with you, that's why I'm doing it. See what I'm doing. We'll leave the screws right in it, we might be able to reuse them, not sure. No power, power go. The car is looking really good with all the welding done and all ground, it's looking really good. Or I think it is. Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We got a little, a little dust of that fresh white stuff up on the hill, hill this morning. We got a little snow this morning, Nate. Too happy to see that up. Well, no, no. It's like everybody's got their old lights up too. November. It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> <laughs> what you got you thinking about Christmas, has it? No, I don't want to think about Christmas. <laughs> I don't want to think about Christmas. <laughs> Nathan lives on the canning on the uh, North Mountain. That's the mountain that we look at when we go out the outside when we look towards the the north. It's the North Mountain. That's where Nathan lives up there. He just rolls down over the hill in the morning and he's here. Okay, let's go. Rollers again. Yeah, you must have been having a party here on the weekend. Oh, me and Jolene well, work like a son. On that. Me and Jolene work like a son of a guy. <laughs> I'm not sure if we use that. That must have been your party. <laughs> it could have been a party we had, you know, before. Did not turn on the air yet. Yeah. I'm hoping with the beaver tail that the ass end of the bike comes down so it looks like it's even in there. Also, I was in, in the shop next to us. This is the motorcycle that we acquired and that's the motorcycle I thought of going in the back of the car. That's what I first thought. But we do have other motorcycles in there a little older that also would look good back in the back of the car. We have a Jawa and I measured the front wheel. You know what the front wheel measured on that one with the fender? 26. It would go down inside there easy. Yeah. This one, this one is twenty nine, and that way we had a few issues. A lot of people were saying, "We'll just tie it down a little tighter." It does not change the height of the fender the, when you pull down on the on the. Yeah, because the fender is mounted to the lower fork, not right. the. Not so the, this is this is the part where it mattered, and to me, to either to get that wheel down further inside the car, you have you would have to cut the back seat section out of the car to get it down any further. And let, what we must understand, and probably why a lot of people don't put motorcycles in the back of cars, I would, to get the motorcycle lower inside the car, we'd have to cut the rear floor out of it and get down on top of the rear end section. And, that, and that's not going to happen. We have a gas tank underneath here. We have the rear end underneath here that we've just lowered. We are, we are close. We're probably <laughs> four or five inches away. And that's it. Like it's, that's it. We can go down further if we chew into the car, but if we chew into the car, we're going to find the rear end. <laughs> Isn't that right, Nate? Yep, I'm going to reach up and bite you. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the two center boards there. We got a bigger one here, Nate, too. The, the bigger, the, do you want the bigger one? Or you want the smaller one? I'm just using, I'm just. Using what you got? I'm okay. 
Yeah, the bigger ones behind me. I just got little quick little buffs on these. And yeah. It's done. Just so I know where to cut the boards, I'm going to leave these two boards. I'm just going to cut this, cut that, cut two boards, and bend it down. That's all I'm going to do. <clears throat> these are even the same size. Or I think that's all I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to get a tape measure, see if it's the same. 12. 12, a little more. Good. Let's do it. Maybe I'll do the skill saw first, maybe. <clears throat> skill saw, where'd I put that bad boy? Maybe I'll do the skill saw first. Okay. How wide? <clears throat> How wide's that? And the reason I'm gonna leave them boards in there is because why not? I have to, I'd have to take off the front chalk and, and do something there to get them boards off. I don't, I don't need to do that, I don't think. I don't think. <clears throat> wondering where I should cut the boards off. Fine, I guess. Just thinking. I don't want to think. If that makes sense. I want to cut the boards off. I don't want to sink. And if I cut them off wrong, I'll just I'll just reboard it. So. Long enough. Good thing I didn't go all the way down through crazy. Got a piece there. Zip cut to the top. I'm not going to cut it right off. That's that's not what I want to do. I want to keep it all together. So I'm just going to zip cut the top, leave the bottom together, and bend it down. Starting to bend it down now. That's fine. Any more of the Milwaukee markers? Great. Here, buddy. Yeah, three I was day. I was counting them on. We got five of them inside the house where I sit and have my coffee. There's five of them sitting there, and I just kind of left them there. <laughs> <clears throat> you know. Nathan's going to mark where he wants the wheel. that now would you fine looking wheel 
we'll leave them things right in, like those pieces that you have there, we'll leave them right in there for a second. If you want to give me What's that? your look, your, I want to leave, I want to try the, the ramp in. I've got it cut and I want to bend it down, see if it does yep. lose everything. That's you what betcha. I'm wondering. You betcha. Let's do that. There's one side. Yeah. Oh, look at that, would you? Look at that, would you? Huh? So the only difference is your wheel's gonna have right there. It's just gonna touch it, so you're gonna it's gonna be really printer your flesh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but, all right, Nathan. Yeah. I'm, I ask you do me uh, do me a favor. We should stick something under there, just the thickness a little bit. <clears throat> That way we're not pulling Get it back. A, okay. And then you can give it another little push. A one eighth piece of one eighth. That's all, yeah. Just where, where do we have that? Did I clean them up and throw them away? Uh, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, do we get any more pieces left? I've got th this. Get the same, and we'll be... My little tickle trunk of, of so shims. Big, I got, so right here, bud. Big wash. Right here, this one. There's a couple these bad boys right here. Two my. that are the same? Or? Storm Douglas! Hey, yeah, just right there and then bend it down a little bit more, right? Right on. So all I'm doing is putting a 3 16 piece of flat right stock the in there. Where right the wheel's gonna be? Because the wheel's gonna bump up just a little bit. Motorcycle this morning or car? Of course, motorcycle, of course. I got the wrong tires on. Yeah, you <coughs> yeah, do you want to tack that out. somehow right there? I do. Do you want to do you want to clamp it right? No, I guess that's not. Uh, no, uh, what, I, what, I'm, uh, what I'll do is, is I'm going, I'd like to weld that together so it can't come back. Right, okay. Um, I'm gonna cut a little piece of, a little piece of something. We'll stick it in there and you can tack it in there for me. Yeah, okay, I'll get the welder geared up. Yeah. Did you get your winter tires on, Douglas? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> I always like Doug's confidence. Of course I do. I got an old board set wow. of dualies on that truck I'm driving. That's great. I'm great with you, Nate. I'm hoping that fits in there when I, no, not even close. Not even close. <coughs> Gotta be a lot thinner than that. <coughs> One more cut. Bear with me, Nate, bear with me. Have to do it again, shame on me. <coughs> but when we bend that down, it pushes them front corners over a little bit. This here goes down, watch. There, keep them front corners the same. It's like goes down. Um, I need a, we want a magnet, I think, or. I got vice grips over here too. If you want, can you hold that in there as vice grips? A second, I'll get a pair of meeting those. Just to, to hold this, and try to weld this, it'd be hot, so we should be fine. Let's get quite a little spring to it there. How should look up front? We're good, Nate. We're good. Okay. Do you want to put your knee over there and keep that there down so it's still twisted? Yeah, you... yeah, just push down on that. Just a second now. I'm, yeah. I'm going to change it around get the big end in there because I can cut it. The big end? I can cut it. Okay, I got this one down here touching here. Back okay, on this top side. Can't go anywhere now. Nope, that won't go nowhere now. You take my off if you want. You want to put one, more, one or two more tacks on that? You're, you're more than welcome if you like. Did 
You still can't go anywhere. Just go. Flex back. Flex. You know, like flex Trazy. fuel. Crazy. Okay. That one there goes down quite stiff. I had to put my, quite a bit of weight on it. Yeah, that's not. That's good. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, what a well. <clears throat> Good. Good, good, good. Are well, we trade that stay? Oh, it looks, it's a little, it's that one there's still up a little bit. Right there's quite a bit of flex on that one. Um, that's fine. Like, if it, like it doesn't have, that's, to me, that's fine. I don't know, like. Okay. You think that should, we should cut that and bring it down further? Mm -hmm. Or try to? That one's down there. Yeah, that's one here, see, that's one. That one there is, you had to put all my weight on it to keep okay, it down. Well, let's, 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 it flex let's, back up a bit. Let's do this, let's. Zip, zip. Zip it. Look at that. That's gonna work. Zip it and st strip it and clutch okay. it. Do it again? Yep. I'm gonna knock it off first. Yeah, there you go. Now she's now she's good tight. I'll go back and lost. It's lost in the front, dude, so. Yeah, can't go anywhere in the front. I got feet up there and everybody. Which other one? Let's see if she springs. Look at that now, would you? She spring now? No, she stayed pretty good. Good now. She stayed pretty good there now. Yeah. It? It's, it's still up a little bit, I think, but. So let's face it. It rolls out nice too. So that back wheel is gonna sit on this. I'm hoping that we get that thing down. Like when you noticed it was going, it was someone had launched her in there. When we get that back wheel, I'm hoping that this drops it down quite a ways. Hoping it drops so it down quite a ways. The bike sets a little bit more level inside the Good. inside the car. Good. Let's just continue on. We'll get that geared up. Doug, whenever whenever you're ready, not saying whenever you're ready. Back watching, man. It's, it's pretty entertaining stuff. <laughs> watch the two chubby guys go at her here. <laughs> Look at the handles this time. Look at this now. I know, I know, I know. I'm just going to set it up on the side because I'm going to weld the. I'm going to turn it around. Thank you. All right. Um, Back to what I was doing. Yeah, when okay. you're ready, it's not time yet, I don't think. Because you're, you're. No, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Does it matter? Okay, well, there's. There's. um. What? wood in the back of our truck yes. in our suburban if yes, you if sir. you want to bring it in we're me and you're going to after a bit we'll, we'll do we'll play with some wood sure thing buddy okay good oh. wood <laughs> oh, let's get this one over here good uh yeah. all right that worked out pretty decent i think that worked out pretty decent um how do i want to do it? i'll just fill it with coat hanger what I'm going to do. Lick it Instead of trying to cut a piece, you can see in the corners here that it's, you know, there's quite a quite a gap going on there that has to be filled in to, you know, be what considered welded up. Instead of me cutting a piece of eighth and putting it in there, I'm just going to... It looked good where it had the angle down in behind that pipe, didn't it? What's that? So that looked good where it angled down behind that pipe, didn't Listen, it? Listen, that looks way better, like... It's down in behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a big surprise coming, too, also. I don't know what the surprise is, but it's coming. Exactly what the doctor called for. Julie likes triple surprises, doesn't she? She does. She's, she's full of surprises. Surprise!
that's how we do it. Just put a, I just put a little meat there for grinding. I see what's going on there. Where we bent that. Hmm. Didn't even realize that. Bronco, dude, yep, we're in with her. Some help fixing it. What's that? Need some help fixing it. I got it all tore apart, ready to go, pretty near, but just didn't have much time to get out of it. Might have to take you up on that, Dougie. <laughs> yep. Sometimes you need a little help from our friends, is that how the song goes? I can't take the roller and put it up against, I was hoping I could slide it up against the bottom, but our roller ain't big enough, yeah. so it won't have enough roll. So I'm going to notch, cut my piece narrower so it sets up so it's flush, and then we'll have the roller be on top. So you have to flatten there. this off? I just have to cut this shorter and slide it up in the weld. I can't just put it underneath because then we have no roll, see? Right. So what so, you're saying is you're going to cut some off the... the I'm going to cut the pin shorter. Okay. So the pin fits inside of my cut. Then I'll tack it, weld it in there that way, and then we'll set it up. Doug, scoop with the grinder if you can tell him what to do on a pin. I was just going to cut her off here now, the length. Oh, you can. Yeah. I'm What's, not saying that, Doug. It's all right if you do. What's that? It's not a you can. Just want to get her going. To, do you want the flapper wheel right there? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good, he says. Well, some beg to differ, but. <laughs> you got snow up your way there, eh, Doug? You had some snow, eh? Yeah, my car's covered. Oh, wow. Caught the disc. Oh yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah. Perfect. Fina wants outdoors. Oh, sorry, stepped on your foot at the same time. Yeah, Hear a squeal? Good. Poor thing, Get stepped on her foot. Set that, so oh. like that. Okay, I've got an idea. I'm going to hit far enough so we don't hit the... Trim it back a little bit, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to trim my square back just a little bit more. It's funny, the stuff that, you know that's done to make something work.
making it work. We work a little harder, making it work. Do you want to take and, and uh, just rub that off a little smooth with the dog on or just down in here, just smooth the little humps off? Mm -hmm. so I'll, cut, I'll, I'll cut the other one. Yeah, just like I say, just a little bit, just enough to take that little edge off. Got a little piece of flat bar that went in the center. As we push that down, I wasn't really thinking about it that much, but there, need, there needs to be a piece of, I left this flat bar here because this needs wood needs to be connected here. Yeah, but to connect the wood at the top, it needs another piece of flat bar from here into there and that should, should be fine. I'm talking to myself, measuring tape. front wood, or this wood to connect to. Um, this piece gives this wood something to connect to. Obviously it's still connected here, screw and screw there. That works for me. It works for me. I'm going to tack that in there right now. Cause it's Yeah. 
hammer for a second. Just tap that in a little bit. Is that one back? What is the other Can't reach it. Ah, there we go. Good to me, man. Good to me. Right over, Doug, and I'll flap a wheel that off. Yeah, this should be fun. Do 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 do. Nothing worse than a MIG wire hanging on. You can tell that it was welded. To me, anyways. Uh, oh, thought this was boy over. Oh, okay. Now, I'm thinking that we're, we're fine there. We don't have to change the boards for now. Um, how are you making it, Nate? Just a bit ready to start welding this year. Wheels in there. Just a bit ready there. Which does that affect us from those don't affect us from putting the motorcycle in, does it? No, they do not. What's that now? This the, those do not as soon as we put the motorcycle in, this will have this will be what I'm saying is I've got the beaver tail in it. Yeah. You're you're going on with those things. If yeah, I'm I ready to weld these in. If we try this in and try to get the motorcycle in, it's not those are not gonna affect how it's going to set because this is going down on this, is it not? This is or, going down, and you got your little spacer here, so it's going to go down on that, isn't it? It goes down on that, but what I'm saying is, if you're welding the wheels up, me and Doug want to load the bike to see if the beaver tail works. 
Okay. We don't need those in there too. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. We'll get you give his hand though. You go for what you're doing. Me and Doug's gonna load the bike. Yep. All right, Doug, you on the other side, brother. You want to on the other on that side? We'll flap this bad boy in. Go side to side. Get it, get it. It's like a glove. Oh my goodness. Oh, I get you. Could be hot in a couple places, so well, bear with me. Like that bottom cord. It won't. It won't come up on it. We're all good, I think. That's tight, y'all. <laughs> tight, man. Is it tight? Tight and right? Just checking things out here. There, buddy. Uh -huh. Okay. Now we're gonna we're, we're gonna try it. Just Let's pull this bad boy out. That'll work a good because these wheels will be touching when you're on that right there. Yes, I. And it'll make it go in a lot easier. We don't want it to roll out right this second. It's not rolling out on us, is it? Gonna take off us on, is it? Pretty slippery out there, isn't it? That's quite a bump there. Yeah. It is. It is. This is what I'm gonna do. Uh, put a pair of, until we get that done. Until I get the most, that's that's not a very good looking. Ugh. Anyways, it is what it is. We can take these off after we let people when we go to push it in. I just don't want it to come off. Don't blame me. All right. Just don't want it to come off. Say, watch your eyes, Nate. All right, two. No, we need two. Um, we need two uh, ratchet straps. We're. Well, I wonder where we put them bad boys at. See the two small ones. You hiding them on us, were you? The two small ones. Yeah. There it is. Look at that now, would you? Okay. So, do you want do you want to do the motorcycle or do you want to do the do the those? Your motorcycle. So I'll help you with it. It falls over if I'm touching it. That's probably not. We not do That's a that's a hard one right there. That is a hard one. Roll it up on. Right, uh, yeah, I, I know that, but I'm just saying for one person to push it. Let me see that if I can. It's really hard. Yeah, it yeah. would be. It's almost like a. Yeah, it moved the car. Can you put something in front of the wheels there? I just want to see if yeah, I can. There is something in front of the wheels there. Is there something in front of the wheels? Yeah, that's quite a. Uh, not sure if I like that that much. Well, it's just kind of, you know, it's a hard load for, for somebody to... Is the car got something yeah, on the wheel? Yeah. Let's, let's, see, let's, let's put it up in there and see what happens. Like you want just, want, yeah, just okay. pull on the wheel for me, will you please? Just make it easier for that little bit. That's not so bad. You're going to take them clamps, Doug. And sure, are those... No, I, I understand. I'll, I'll steer that. Now, let's get them ratchet straps. You're going from the corner down there, from right here. Just hook it on, and we'll hook the other one on. Yeah. I'm not happy with the, I don't say I'm not happy, but it's quite a, you might as well put the other, don't put the same way, Doug. Turn that around, go the other way. Nope. Take that off. Take down the other end. I... Second. 
So, yeah. Now, I'm going to push it up there and you're going to strap it in. Yeah, strap her in. The other side, please and thank you. All right, just stick, keep, yeah, keep going, like strap her, you can just keep her going, and then you can come to the other side and get it. Seems to be straight, doesn't it? Are we locked up in there? Yeah, we're in the, we're in the pretty good, pretty good. Probably could run up a little bit tighter, maybe a second. I'm just gonna push it up a little bit tighter. Go ahead, it's new rat strap, I'll do this. All right, come this side now. Actually, a little tighter. That's good, I'm thinking. All right. Let's, um, I'm just going to move the bike over to the center of the, of the, of the ramp. To the center of the ramp, looks pretty center. Are you ready to push that thing in, Doug? Yeah. Let's take off, just a minute now, I'm going to take off these. We need to grab the, the ramp itself and the bike. Just a second before we go too far forward, I just want to make sure that I'm not hitting the fender. Just a minute now. Oh, I got, we got that package tray up there welded. Keep going. Yeah. It's on just a minute. Just a minute. There's the, it's on the last, the last wheel. I just don't want to hit the front fender on the package tray up there. Mm, yeah. So we got just a little shoving it, just a little weight. There you go. Right on top of the wheel. You just want to stand back here to hold this, just to make sure it don't, because we're not locked in up front. And it's only got a little bit more ways to go. But in all honesty, that has to be. I'm gonna take a look for a second. It does drop it down. It does drop it down quite a ways. This here has to be cut um, to get that in there. I think I'm gonna cut it right now. That's all right, I'll get a marker. I'm going to steal Nathan's for a second. You just keep a hold of the bike, will you please, Doug? That's all I ask. I'm just kind of... How far do I... Ain't gonna work. It needs to be cut out some. I need to cut that out some. <laughs> All right. My glasses. Well, it's not so much that. We made that package tray longer than it's supposed to be. Oh, longer than the mark we had on. Yes. And now I'm just trimming a little bit out. <laughs> and it's better. I wanted it to be longer than shorter. I wanted to make sure that we had enough there. To be honest with you, that's where I'm going with that. I want to make sure that we had enough on the package tray. Doug, are you playing with my bike again? Yes. Don't be pulling on it now. Come on now. Up. Man, I'm going to drive it. <laughs> You do and I will. Don't, don't be... The old school Thank <laughs> you.
think it's gonna make it. Push it slow. Keep jumping. Yeah. Push it in. All right, so. All right, I just want to look. It's got to be cut a little bit. Just don't want that sitting on the fender. No. Nope. Just don't want the paint. It fits. It fits, but I just want to make sure it's not scratching anything. Ah. It's tight, y'all. Yeah, it's, it's in there that we can. Yeah. Now that does fit in there. We're pretty close. Just pull up on this. Pretty close. Got to cut a little bit more under there. But basically, what I want to look at is has the back of the bike come down? It's come down a ways. It has to come down a ways because the back wheel, um, that's in there all the way. That's nice. Nice. So what's going on is is we've got this in all the way, so the beaver tail, obviously. My well. <laughs> Yours probably. My like to say that's nicer. Works, I'm kind of wondering. I am kind of wondering. <laughs> that's basically her in a handbag. Nathan's got the two pieces that we have to put in here for it to roll out better. Um, we're gonna take it off here in a second, but we're gonna have They're more ready, than. Bud. You're ready? Let me see your wheel, old boy. Look at that, would you? Three to three dollars. A little wheel in there. That'll go up there. I'll go on that side and right on. And that one's up just enough that you should touch it. You come out and then tip at the same time. Perfect. Let's 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 take let's take the bike off. Now, I don't like the idea. Actually, um, All right, let's let's pull it out, Doug. I, I think I want to grab by um, when you when you pull it out. Let's that piece right there would be the piece to hold it on with, I guess, by our hand. Pass that piece of square. Oh, that square talk is yeah. part of the ramp. Yeah. There we go. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Yeah, let's let it slide down slowly. That where the wheels are going to help. Yep. Now you'll grab the bottom, pull back a little bit. I'll watch the front here. Just a little bit more. Whoa! Right there, be good. Okay. Get the front brake on. And Let's undo the straps. I got the front brake here. Yeah. Now this is the one with the child safety. I remember now. I don't know if I got it or not, but. Oh, Doug got it. How do you get that, Doug? Hit that red button. Just hit the red button. There we go. It does have child safety. All right. Get front right there, Chad, and bring oh, it back. Yeah. Make a motorcycle. It's going to take a little bit of. I'm going to have to take classes on how to use those. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're going to take classes. Yeah. Maybe I could drive it up in. I'd love to drive see you it. do that. Huh? I'd love to see you do that. Me too. I'd try it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take what we want to take this off. That obviously works. I like how it does take it down lower. The boards are going to have to be done different in the back. That's, that's fine. <coughs> These have to be welded up before those go in. I'm, okay. They do. I just want to have so basically, basically, what's going yeah, that's on? That's going to work out good because that's yeah, that roll. So when that's up like that, that this roller now is also going to catch this edge. I get right. it up high enough, it'll catch that edge, and it'll catch it when it rolls over. So Perfect. that'll make it easier to run around. We'll have to keep that up square with that. So, that ro that so we got a little bit of welding to do in here. We're going to weld this on here, make sure that's all welded in there, make sure that our little feet are all welded up. Um, and then we'll weld these on here. We'll ha then we'll have that finished so the ramp goes in and out nice. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, everybody, for coming back. We really appreciate it. We're cooking with gas on this one right at the present moment. There's three of us here today, and um, I'm hoping that 
we get a bunch done. Have a great day, everybody. Come back tomorrow and we'll be here.